Tamsui is a known town named after its neighbor river, Tamsui River, and is famous for its historical heritage. The area connected by Fort San Domingo, the old street, and the Tamsui River bed to nowadays is a popular tourist attraction and has brought streams of people on holidays. They together vitalize and foster the development of this district. Today, we will introduce the hottest local goods on the old street. We start with the speciality goods, they roast the eggs. Vendors use quail's eggs. Some would add white bait in the eggs as well. The next one is the brown tofu stuffed with green bean. People eat it with broth and sauce made of a fermented flour product, sometimes with spicy flavors, sometimes coupled with the fish bowl soup. This is how iron eggs are made. They are boiled with soy sauce for hours and dried with feathers. Repeat this procedure for one week, so as to make the iron eggs harder than they were. There are several stores selling other special goods. Like tempura and fried fish crackers, both are made with fresh fish paste. So here comes the famous one, and as we arrive at 4 p.m., the fried fish crackers are already sold out. What a shame! We smell some strong odor, and we see the line before the vendor. Yep, the stinky tofu. People barbecue the stinky tofu here. The more the sauce is, the richer the taste. Do not hesitate to try. Taiwanese fruits are internationally acclaimed. Thai products such as crystallized fruits are in favor as well. Mmm, some tomatoes and guavas. Also, all kinds of juice and fresh fruit milk are ready at the side. Some fried squid here if you would like some seafood. Tons of fried things here, like hot dog. Chinese sausages are made of two kinds of sausages. The outside half sliced one is stuffed with glutinous rice, and the Chinese sausage is in between. People eat it with seasoning and love its very texture. Again, side products of fresh fruits are easy to get. Tomatoes on sticks, while some are strawberries or other kinds of fruits. There's another lineup, it's hot-baked pineapple bun with cold butter. The butter was slightly melt because of the heat of the bread, and that's why people love it. Oh wait, a strong instant coffee smell strikes me. The man is curing coffee beans. All kinds of beans are displayed and some decoration at the store. We have other historical heritages here. The oldest temple in Tamsui, Fu Yu Temple. Along up the stairs is the Red Castle. Now it's known as a restaurant with good viewing and historical ambience. Here comes a long queue, let's check it out. It's a traditional cake with strong sweet smells. Since the tourists crowd into this area for sightseeing, a regular procedure has been viewed as a performance. People around me videotaped it. Now at the end of the old street, a little alley will take us to the whole market hospital. Which is the earliest western hospital in Taiwan launched by Dr. Mackay. Next to the hospital is the Tam Sui's church. Soon after some of his followers were baptized, he established a church at this vented location. On holidays, you might meet some creative artists on the street. <laughs> Besides from praising the artists, don't forget to bestow some money to the young performer. After the 
only hostel and bus stop on Leo Street. We are now heading to the riverside. That is famous for its viewing, especially the sunsets. Okay, couples 1, 2, 3, 4, and of course, beautiful view with the sunset. But luckily, we did not capture the scene, it depends on the weather. And Tan Shui is at the northern Taiwan, it is heavily influenced by the monsoon. Speaking of the vitalization of this little town, freeing with the show on arm is probably a good idea. This man has drawn such an attention from the tourists ever since he opened a shop decades ago. <laughs> People in this long line and the dark are hoping to continue their adventures across the river, but I am going to say goodbye to you. After introducing the famous snacks, it's time to savor a proper supper. <laughs> 